It's because you played it safe. You thought it was okay to just believe that you're going to have some success. Some is not enough. Champions are broken. People look at champions and try and find something that that champion has that they don't have. And he's like, but it's not that at all. They lack something everyone else has, which is an off button. They just don't stop. Maybe your path in life is harder right now because your calling is so much higher. I would rather you set your sights, not on the moon, but on the stars, because in the process of shooting for the stars, you will hit the moon, guaranteed. But in the process of shooting for the moon, you might completely miss it and hit nothing. The real message is we all started from no I mean, we all had bullshit jobs. We all <laughs> felt like losers. But through time and effort, you build a stronger human. You build a stronger body, you build a stronger mind, you build accomplishments and will and momentum. And then you look back and you go, hey man, I'm not washing tables anymore. Not when all is available, not when all your gifts haven't been exposed and explored. And so you can discover what you were made for. To succeed, you must fail. In failure and in suffering, all the answers are in there. All the answers to all the test questions, the test is your life. I need to visit it. Visit suffering one hour a day. Visit your past failures one hour a day. The relationship with it is the answers are in there. The world is a lesser place if you do not reveal from within yourself what you have to reveal. And the fact that the world is a lesser place actually turns out not to be trivial. Like if you aren't everything you could be, more people will die, more people will suffer. More evil will be unconstrained. More tyranny will reign. More chaos will remain chaotic and dangerous. All of that. One of the most damaging things that any human can do is set low standards and then achieve those standards. The ultimate in compensation for, for human beings to have more control over your own destiny. There's so many people that are in that, that starting point. What do I, I don't know what to do. What should I do? You're gonna have to figure it out, one foot in front of the other. To, you know, to find a thing and keep working at it and get better at it. Go deep into the dungeon of my soul and say, okay, what is making you a quitter? What is making you a weak man? What is making you afraid? That's why I kept on quitting and going back to start or not knowing how to get through hard times. I think we all agree we all want more. We have dreams, we have goals. Yeah, ask yourself first, more what? And that starts, I think, by going on answering that question, well, what do I value the most? And it goes, I wish for the world to realize all of their dreams, so that they can realize they don't make them complete. And he's talking about that most people's dreams are very like external, like champions, like they want to win a medal, they want to win a trophy, they want a nice car and all this stuff, and you get it. And when you have everything, you realize, this isn't what I wanted. I don't feel complete right now. We must become everything that we were intended to be the day that God gave you breath. Because with that breath, you have to use it to go out and grab something. And as long as you're believing, as long as you're breathing, as long as you're achieving, keep going forward. Go past your doubt, go past the dream until you have to dream again. Constantly rewrite your book every day of your life. These are conversations I have with myself. And I say it everywhere I go, the most important conversation when you have it yourself. You live with it every single day. But most of our conversations are not the right ones. But failure is the most information rich data stream on planet Earth, but to accurately assess the data and figure out what it's telling you about why you failed to some extent or why it was more inefficient than it needs to be, you have to be willing to stare nakedly at your own inadequacies, take responsibility for the outcome, not make it somebody else's fault or the economy's fault or whatever, any external force, if you're making it an external problem, you're never going to be able to learn the lesson you need to learn in order to improve your behavior so that you can then execute better and make more progress. 
moving forward, set higher standards in your fitness, in your ability to orate, to speak. Enough with setting low standards and hitting those standards and being proud of yourself. Like, fuck, man, let's get to it. Stop saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm a ride. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. That if you want to find peace with yourself, self-understanding, self-knowledge, self-esteem, all of these things are going to be found only through sacrifice, getting uncomfortable, reevaluating what your normal is, and, and putting yourself in situations that you don't want to do. Yep, the desire to change, to, to, to not, to change those circumstances, whatever they might be. As long as you have, you have to have that desire, the will to change those circumstances. That's your start right there. Have the will, the desire to change it. There's your starting point. Sometimes life will happen to you and you won't have time to say no. You won't have time to think that you can't do it. The only time you will have is to act, to take the leap of faith and believe that everything is going to be all right. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything's going to be all right.